Are you feeling Christmassy? Here's a great way to decorate your porch or your front door area, a little bit of the light and the poinsettias. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm out today to find some poinsettias. Oh, I'm just loving these. And they will last a long time too. And just all it needs is just that nice cool place, not direct sunlight. I am just loving these. But yes, I'm on the mission for poinsettias to go inside the house. So yeah, it's a great way if you want to decorate for the holiday, you're not into doing all the extra, but you just want to have flavor or taste. This is a good way to do it. It's just by adding beautiful plants like this inside or on your front porch. Oh my gosh, look at these. This might make your house smell like pine, if you love pine. If you want pine and you want to make your house smell like a little pine, get a potted plant like this and just do some little decors like this, you know. You don't, this is great for apartments, this is great for people that just want a little flavor of it, but don't want to get crazy. Again, just getting something potted like this, 29 bucks a month. And what can you do? You go wrong here. There's some other wooded pots in them. So it's a great way to stay festive and continue to keep that and get that beautiful pine smell in your house. But I'm off to find some poinsettias that I'm going to do some decor in the house. I, I think I found my poinsettias. So I don't want to have to worry about watering anything. So this is for you guys that are not good at keeping uh, plants alive. This is a really good option. If you're being it's gold, red, green, whatever it is, you can have fun with uh, artificial poinsettias. So I'm going to do some artificial ones because I am always on the go. But I want the flavor of the house to have that really nice decor. I mean, it's a lot of Christmas stuff out right now. So I'm on the move. So I'm going to go get me some poinsettias. I am making a spray instead of doing a wreath. I want to do something a little different. And really where I'm at, uh, every time I put a wreath out on my door, somehow I inherit a frog um, at the end of the year. So I'm gonna do a little something different. So it's just less stuff for them to hide in, but I'll make sure I check it this time around. So what I did is I got like, three of these, you want one for the middle and two for the sides, and just make sure, you know, when you unpackage them that you fluff them out, it's necessary that you do that, so, and then what you're going to need, if you need glue guns, you will, um, if you're putting things together, but zip tie to put these things, uh, to put these sprays um, together, and then some type of wire cutter, because you just want to be able to set these off, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one where I'm conjoining all three, don't worry about twisting them together just yet to install them, just get them where you need them to be, so a pro trick, just fasten it and then when you get it to the back end you will tighten it the way you want and just make sure everything is pretty much stable um so you're not fussing with it so much so all i'm doing as you can hear the zip ties installing because it will stay together once i'm uh, pretty much done so i'm just going to turn it over get it to the uh, highest point here because i will be fastening this a little different so again i'm just tightening away as you can hear it uh tightening and I'll be cutting this off so we have that excess, which is gone. So again, just fluffing it out to make it even so you have a nice full spray. And the reason why you, you want to make sure you do all this prep work first is so you, when you're installing everything else, it will make sense for you and it'll be easier instead of you trying to worry about doing everything else um, at the end. So just braiding it um, a little so it doesn't come undone because again, I will be tucking it um, so it stays really nice and neat. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because remember, you'll be tucking this in. You just wanted to braid it so it had somewhere to house uh, for it later on. So another thing I was doing, as you can see, this is that buffalo plaid. It's so popular. So what I like to do is dry fit things first, because it is important, instead of like installing and uh, taking things off later. So I'm going to do this piece. That's like my theme, as you can see. And then I'm going with adding some little bells in different places. So pretty much layering it. I'm trying to see how I'm going to do it. I got these little things like this at Walmart. Um, a really, really cute thing you can do, those of you that still love to gift wrap, <laughs> uh, they're really cute um, ways to gift wrap and put these on top of your gift. Just that like, little finishing touch, as you can see. So I'm just going with a very earthy um, theme with my design, so you will see that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the install of this. I pretty much geared what my idea is going to be. And then um, something else that I'm going to do is nestle these in. Because this is going to be outside, I don't want to spend a lot of money because it's going to get wet. And those of you that are in colder climates and always get excess. You want more than you need. Let's snap that. Because then when you're tucking things, you don't want to go too short because you don't have that excess to bend and um, nestle it in. So I got these little acorns at Dollar Tree. Again, this is going to be outside. I'll tend to use this again maybe a couple of times, but for the most part, 
it's inexpensive enough that you can utilize it again. So I'll be nestling things and kind of get the idea. So wait for it and you will see what the finished product looks like. But for the most part, I like what I'm seeing. I'll be adding this to the door and I'll be showing that off soon. Alright you guys, I just wanted you to see what it looked like at the front door. Talk about really pretty. I just love simplicity. Simplicity in the spray. And you know what? When you make it, isn't it? That's the best part of it. That you made it. I really love the way it looks. It's something shiny. It's something shiny. But look how it came out. It's something that's simple. It doesn't take a lot of time. But it's a conversation piece. You always hear me talk about those conversation pieces. So let me show you what I did also inside. Just to just jazz up the entryway. Nothing big, nothing simple. With my lifestyle, I want to be able to clean up after a holiday and make it easy for myself. So there you have it. I did a little bit. Remember yesterday, getting a little cute poinsettias. I did the faux. Nothing wrong with going with the faux poinsettias because you know what? For my lifestyle, they last a lot longer. I don't have to worry about watering them. And then I added my cinnamon spice candle. I tend to use a candle warmer when I'm using uh, candles. So that's something you might want to consider and think about. Um, just saving those little festive candles like that holders because you just kind of just, you know, sprinkle them around your home. But I just wanted to do something simple and easy at my doorway. My cracker, that is my fan fave. I've had this guy for over 10 years. My snowman, as you can see, he's around the door. So it's just that little um, festivity that's just as simple, you know, putting bowls on doors. Those are great little ideas. If you're not into doing a tree this year, you don't have to just because everybody else is doing it. But you can sprinkle a little bit of that festivity around your house on doors and, you know, creating bowls and sprays and things like that where it's easy to clean up when it's all said and done and it doesn't seem, and that's the whole thing, is cleaning it up later. You're like, why did I do all of this? But it was pretty going up. So for me, this is good enough for me for the season that I walk into my home and it greets me with a warm embrace. So I hope that the season is full of God's joy. He gave his begotten son and whoever shall believe in him would have everlasting life. So let's not forget what the season is truly about. Let's be kind to one another, especially when we're out and about in the grocery stores, at the stores shopping. Remember, a smile goes a mile away, but treat the people that are serving you with so much respect because they did show up to work. They did show up to serve you. So have a servant heart when you leave for this season to shop and to get things done for your festivities and your everyday lifestyle. As always, this is BB with Reviving Your Style. I hope to see you soon. Give me a comment below. Tell me what you think. What was your holiday um, thing for this year? Did you go big? Did you go small? Did you go medium? What was it? Can't wait to hear. As always, bye-bye.